everyone welcome back to another video today I have a super exciting one I thrifted so many good things over the last I think month and a half and I just wanted to show you all I found so much good stuff I don't even know how it happened I found so many pants too which doesn't usually happen I have a little bit of everything so I think I'm going to do everything by category so I think we should start with jackets I have two um, so let's get into those first. The first jacket is something I have been looking for for months now and I didn't think I was going to find it in a thrift store um, because online they're like almost a hundred or sometimes even over a hundred euros um, but I found one in a thrift store and it's this Penny Lane coat and it's so nice. It has like super nice faux fur and then generally there's suede, but this one's actually corduroy, which I really like uh, and has a really like nice texture. It's a super fine corduroy and it isn't like a short one, but it isn't a long one. It's like just like over my hips. Um, so that's really nice. Yeah, and it fits like exactly. And it's actually from the brand Clockhouse, which is funny because I have often thrifted stuff from them, but I thought it was going to be like 50 euros and I was like prepared to like pay uh, a lot of money because I know online they're super expensive and I've actually seen this exact coat on Vinted for 160 euros which is ridiculous because it's literally like um, corduroy and fake fur uh, from Clockhouse which is by um, a brand called Sayana which is a fast fashion brand um, but it was only 18 euros and 95 cents so that made it even better and I'm super super happy with this. It is getting warmer here now so I don't know how often I'll be able to wear it because it actually is a super warm coat but it's so pretty and I'm really excited definitely to wear it next fall and on some of the colder days still this spring. But yeah that's what it looks like and that is my first item. The next jacket I have, calling it a jacket is kind of generous because it's so cropped but it is like so 2000s and it's this super cute ultra cropped denim jacket it has this really nice like rounded front here and actually like quite a few buttons and has long sleeves with even more buttons and this really nice detailing on the sleeves there and it actually has shoulder pads which i really like actually in this jacket because it makes the shoulders like even more defined and this one is actually from the brand Viramoda jeans and I paid about four or five euros for this and I just think it's so cute I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna wear yet I think probably uh, some dresses and stuff but like I hate when my top is longer than my jacket so I'll have to figure out what kind of tops I can wear with this or maybe if I can style it like more in like a 2000s kind of way um, but I think this one is so cute and I love it a lot. So then I have one dress and this dress I actually saw on the like swap shop which is a store in the Netherlands uh, where you can swap clothes. I saw it on their online collection and I was so tempted to buy it but I didn't do it. And then I went into the store and they had the dress and I tried it on and it's so perfect I had to get it it's this maxi length green and black striped dress and I know this is not gonna be everybody's cup of tea but I love it I wore it to my dad's book presentation and I really really liked it it's super comfortable it's like the softest fabric ever I think it's like a viscose and it's actually by the brand Michael Kors which is super cool and it has these little, um, actually not little, they're actually pretty big slits on the side. So the whole bottom basically opens up. And I love it so much. This is one of the most expensive things I got. I think it was 15 euros, so I had to pay swap points for two. So 15 swaps and 15 euros. And this I'm so, so happy with. I actually have quite a lot of tops and actually specifically quite a lot of button ups. Sorry if they're wrinkly, they've been like lying folded waiting to like be shown in this video. So um, I'm going to iron them. I just didn't have time to do it before and they were just stuffed in a bag. So um, <laughs> yeah, um, this is the first one and I love this one so much. It has the most beautiful floral print 
and I actually think it's vintage. It has this tag that says Marie Them. But this one is so perfect for summer. I just want to layer it like on top of everything. It has like the most beautiful colors. It has like pink and a light turquoisey blue. And this one is just so cute. I also tied it up when I was in the thrift store, like make it into more of a crop top. And I really liked that as well. And this one was about three or four euros, which is such a good deal. I went thrifting with one of my best friends a few days ago. And I wasn't really planning on buying anything, but I found a lot of cute things and I found two button-ups and the first one actually doesn't have buttons. It does have button holes, um, so I think somebody took the buttons off, but I will just have to put on some new ones. But it's this super beautiful like black button-up and it is again very wrinkly, I'm sorry about that, but it's super nice because it's so simple, but then it has this like slightly mesh like these stripes through it. I don't know if you all can see that, but it's so pretty and the uh, part that's actually slightly like see-through is actually elastic. So the top is very stretchy. So it has like a lot of stretch, which is super cool. And I really like the way this one fits. And I think this will be such a versatile piece that I can wear with basically anything. And it's just so nice for in the summer, like just over a little dress or like in the spring when it's not that hot yet and also in the winter layered with like turtlenecks or something. I just think this piece has so much potential and this one was two euros and 95 cents. On that same trip I got another button up and it's this really nice pinstriped one and I love the button detail on the front. It has like tons of buttons with these like little loops which I think is so nice. It also has these really nice darts here at the top and this one is like a very nice, like more tight fitted one. And I really liked that. By the way, the last one was from the brand M&S Best Basics. And this one is from the brand Sutherland Pure Style. And I really like this one as well. I, again, think it's super versatile. And I love this like button detail. I think it kind of reminds me of a corset in a way, even though corsets generally are laced up, but something about it gives a similar vibe to me. And I also really love the like super small stripes. I think that's really nice as well. As you can see, both of those had stripes. And then also the dress had stripes. There's a theme of stripes definitely in this whole thrift haul. I really, really like this top as well. I think it's going to be super versatile. The next piece is so cool. I've definitely seen a lot of stuff like this on Pinterest. And when I saw this in a vintage store, I was just so excited and I needed to try it on and it's this button up. It looks a little big but it actually fits me really well. It doesn't have any size in it. It's like there's no tag or anything, no size, no brand. But these colors are just so nice. I love this like olive green. I think it's so nice. I just want to show you the pattern up close because it's just so nice. This was 15 euros, um, which for a vintage store is pretty like normal. Um, and I really, really love this one. I'm super excited to wear this as well. I think it'll just look super nice with like my black mini skirt and some boots um, because it's such a statement. It kind of speaks for itself. And yeah, I just love it. This one also has shoulder pads because it is vintage. And yeah, I really, really love this one. The last top is kind of a button up, but not really. It's more of a blouse and it's this beautiful pink one. And I actually got this at the swap shop as well. And I think this one was five euros and five points. And I love the like little button detail it has there. I think this is going to be such a nice like beach, like bikini cover up. But I also have a skirt that I think this will look super nice with. And it's by the brand No Lita or no L Ida. Um, this is what the tag looks like. And it's made in Italy, which is so cool. And it's super nice. It's 100% cotton. And I love this like dusty pink color. It's one of my favorites. The next top I have is this little exercise top and it's by a Nike Dry Fit. And yeah, it's cute. It has a little line in the back there, the little swoosh. I just got this because it's a really nice material for exercise. And I didn't have uh, one of these tops in like a short sleeve. I only have one in a long sleeve. So I thought this would be nice for working out. 
And yeah, just really simple. I think I paid $2.25 for this one. The next top I got off of Vinted, and it's the only thing I got off of Vinted. And it's this super nice green turtleneck. And this turtleneck is so tight, like the body fits fine. The arms are a little bit tight, but the neck, like this, getting this over my head is so hard. At first I thought I wasn't going to be able to do it, but eventually it did get over my head. Um, but it's a whole thing. Um, when it's around my neck, it fits fine. It's just getting it over my head because as you can see, this is like freakishly small. Um, so yeah, I think it's by Stradivarius. And yeah, I just really liked this color and I've been wanting a turtleneck in this color green for a really long time. And yeah, it's just this perfect green color, which I really like. And I'm excited to style this, even though it is getting a little bit warmer. But I'm going to be doing like a capsule wardrobe video um, just to show you how you can make a bunch of outfits with a limited amount of clothing. And this piece is going to be in there. So um, subscribe if you want to see that. But the next top, I'm sorry if it's covered in cat hair um, or dog hair. I don't know if this is my cat or my dog's hair, but sorry if you can see that. I tried to get it off, um, but I don't have one of those roller thingies with me right now. But it's this really cute little graphic tee. I have no clue where this graphic is from. Um, I really don't know. I just really liked it. Uh, so if you know, please tell me because I feel kind of stupid not knowing. I feel like I recognize this, but I'm not sure who it is. So if you know who this is, please let me know. I would be very happy um, to know that. And it's by Abay, which it says there on the shirt as well. And I really just like this. I wanted like a nice graphic tee with a pop of color, but mostly neutral and this is perfect. I really love this shirt. I think I paid uh, five euros for this as well. The next piece is a little bit discombobulated, um, but you'll see it better in the try-on, but it's this really cute little black corset. This is the top part. Yeah, this is the top. It is like all the way unraveled in the back there. Um, sorry about that um, because I need to like redo it. I got this in a thrift store for I think three euros, um, but the only way to get this on and off is by lacing it up, which is super annoying because you can't do that by yourself, at least I can't. So I actually got this zipper put in the side and it's just a, like invisible zipper so you don't see it. And it just goes like that all the way up to the top here so it's a lot easier to get it on. So all I have to do is just lace it up and then I can zip myself in and out. Um, so yeah, that's going to make this a lot easier. I've been wanting a black corset for a really long time. Again, this is covered in cat hair, I'm so sorry. But if you have pets, you probably understand. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting a black corset top or corset for a really long time. And I'm super excited to style this a bunch of different ways. Um, yeah, it's really inspiring me to make a lot of outfits and yeah, I love this one so much Then the last top I feel like you're either going to hate this or love this. I love it um, It's a poncho um, And I grabbed this in the thrift store when I was there with my friend as kind of as a joke But then I put it on and I actually really love it. It is this asymmetrical brown like ruffled poncho and it is the softest thing it's so soft I love it and I just thought it was so cute and I just was like yeah I would totally wear this I also um, go camping I've gone camping since I was a kid with my parents and I really think this would be so good on a campground just throwing it over anything so not only do I actually really like the way it looks it's also really functional and yeah, I just love it so much. It's so cute. I think I paid three euros and 50 cents for this. So that's like a super good deal. And I just think it's so pretty and it's so soft. I wish you guys could feel it. I really want to know how you guys feel about this because I love it, but I feel like it could be controversial. Then I actually have two skirts and this one is so pretty. It's uh, this super like nice and long, also again an asymmetrical hem, 
like paisley and floral printed skirt. And I love that it's brown and pink and cream. As you can see, the waist is a little bit more stretched out than the hips. So I'm going to have to wear this like low waisted or just kind of like, like tuck it in, I guess. I'm not really sure because the waist is a little bit loose. It is my size though. So I think it's just a little bit stretched out. It is by the brand Helena Hart. Um, never heard of that. It's just so pretty. I paid five euros for this as well. It does have these like really weird little like things that you are supposed to use, I think, to hang it up, but they just stick out the wrong way. So I think I really need to cut those off because that's just kind of like ugly. But yeah, the skirt is so pretty and I love it a lot. The other skirt is striped, which as you can see, stripes is like kind of the theme of this video. And it's this super cute like midi length tier skirt. And I originally picked it up because I thought it would be cute if I cut it shorter. But then when I tried it on, I actually really like this like midi length and it fits really well. It has a zipper on the side, which is super nice. And yeah, it's just so cute. And I didn't think I was gonna like this length, but I actually really do. I think it might look really cute with like combat boots or maybe even higher boots as well. And I just think it's such a nice silhouette. It is by the brand Vanilla or Vanilla Elements. Uh, I've never heard of that. It also has a super nice lining, which is really nice. This skirt was three euros and 50 cents, but I think I got a discount on this one. I think it was half off. So it was very, very affordable. And yeah, it's super cute. If you're still watching, you're in for a treat because the pants are so good. And this one is by far my favorite. I love these so much. Uh, I couldn't believe it when I found them. There are these super awesome striped wide leg pants. And yeah, I don't even have words for this. They're like super early 2000s. The buttons are so cute. And everything about them is just really, really perfect. When I found them in the thrift store though, actually somebody had cut down the side. Like they hadn't even ripped open the seam. They just cut it and put like these elastic like pieces of fabric in like these triangles so that they, the pants were like larger, which looked terrible. Um, but I brought them to um, the woman who occasionally tailors our clothing and she fixed it and they fit perfectly now because they already fit me perfectly in the hips and legs. They were only a little bit loose in the waist and now the waist is perfect. And I just love them so much. And the best part, is that I only paid two euros for them because they were originally four euros, but they were on sale. And two euros for a pair of pants like this is just, it just doesn't get any better. I love them so, so much. When I thrifted those, I actually found another pair of pants and they're these really beautiful brown and like greenish, grayish pinstripe. Again, there might be some hair stuck to these because pets, um, but they're super, super nice. They're kind of like a straight leg fit. And these also fit really, really well. And they're by the brand Kanda uh, from Sena. And as you can see, they're definitely vintage by this tag, probably late 90s, maybe like super early 2000s. And they are 97% cotton, which is awesome. So they're like super comfortable. I really love these and these were also only two euros, four euros originally, but on sale for half off. So this was such a good steal. And yeah, they're just so comfortable. Then I got something that I've been wanting for a while and that's cargo pants. I originally found some, but I don't actually like how those fit on me that much. These are a way nicer fit. I got these with one of my best friends when I was at the thrift store with her. And I found this really cute little, like super short white, cotton flowy dress and she found these but the dress was too small on me and these were too large on her and then we switched and these fit me really well and the dress fit her really well and she ended up getting the dress and I ended up getting these pants so that was like really weird but super awesome because that dress oh it was so perfect and I'm so happy that she took it because I just really wanted one of us to be able to wear it because it's so beautiful and so are these cargos they're super nice. They're like this olivey khaki green color. Sorry if the fabric is super loud. Um, 
And what I really love is that they have this little like patch here at the back, which is super pretty. And they're just really comfy. They are a little bit like looser on the waist so I can kind of like shimmy them down so they're like more of a mid-rise. But I really like these. They're by the brand Essentials, um, which is funny because the jeans she was wearing that day were also by this brand. And I really, really like them. They are also 100% cotton, so they're super nice and breathable. And I'm really excited to style these a bunch of different ways. Then we're already on the last two items and I'm gonna save a funky one for last and do a more simple one now. And this one is just these really like plain black, like they're not jeans really. They are kind of structured like jeans, but they're really a really weird material. I don't actually know what they are exactly. But yeah, they're just like a viscose kind of pant. And they're really nice. They're like this kind of straight leg pant. They're like a really like a straight leg. And I love that they don't really have um, like a, a waistband. They're just kind of there and then they have belt loops. But it does go up that high. And the back is really nice as well. It just has like a very nice clean edge. Also, I really like the little button on the front. And also this little tag on the back. And it's by the brand Corel Amsterdam. And actually the thrift store I got this at, all their vintage items they priced ridiculously high. But funnily enough, they didn't price this one high. So I think I got this for three or four euros. And they're super nice. They're really comfy. They're a really weird material, but I really like them. And yeah, I just liked that they were like a plain pair of black pants. I have like, black jeans and black flares, but I didn't have anything like this. And I really like how different they are. The last pair of pants is this super awesome, like kind of giraffe, kind of alligator print, but it's like in the colors of a giraffe, but it's more like an alligator print. These are so awesome. They have like a really nice flare and they're kind of slightly like, they're like in between low and mid rise, I'd say at least from what I remember trying them on in the thrift store. And they have a no butt pockets, which I do like on flares. And they're just like super nice. The uh, shape of the pockets is also a really nice detail. And I just love like flared pants and I love animal print as well. And especially when it's like in browns and creams, I just think it looks so nice. And it's actually by the brand Esprit. And these are actually also like 97% cotton which is super nice because I'm trying to thrift mostly um, cotton or linen pieces uh, just because it's better for the environment and also just nicer on your body, it just feels really nice. And I'm really happy that these are almost 100% cotton. I love them so much. And these were also only five euros, which for like 2000s Esprit is pretty, pretty good. And yeah, I love these a lot. So those were all the items. Let me know which item or items were your favorites. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. This is probably, um, I'm probably not going to be doing too many thrift hauls in the coming like one or two months because I'm trying to not thrift as much uh, because this was a really good haul and I really want to style all of these pieces and wear them and incorporate them into my wardrobe before buying new things but I'll definitely be doing a lot of styling videos because I really love those and I haven't done one in quite a while, so I'm very excited about that. So if you're interested in styling sustainable clothes and just thrifted clothes in general, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you have a really great day and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.